Okay. Whew. I'm Wusan right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Continuous music is on the way. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin, on the GMAP Broadcast Network. And I got Pamela Johnson on the phone. And, and she told me my phone number looked like I'm calling from a... <laughs> now, that was just fun. That was just flat out funny. Hi, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me let me try to do it right. Uh, uh, this is a collect call from Pastor Kevin. Will you please accept the call? We not take a no collect call here. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Why not? We hey, no collect call I, here. I thought we was friends. You pay your own bill. <laughs> I thought I thought we was friends. Uh, well, we not that kind of friend. We ain't friends if I got the call. Hey, we we ain't friends if I'm calling collect any other. Oh my hey, you god! Call me collect from where? From uh, where are you calling me from? Collect? Oh, please forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good ladies and gentlemen! When I was in college. I used to get those kind of phone calls from jail. Yeah. yeah. Like I take the call because I didn't know who it was. Wow. Well, you know, like when I figured out it was jail, I hung up. <laughs> you know, I I couldn't know who they are, and 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 still, you know what? Then they got tricky, and and they start letting the person on the other end that was calling collect hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, see, before they didn't used to be able to hear it, and you can be like, no, 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 I'm not here. No, I'm not mm-hmm. accepting that call. And then they would just pull them off a of mute, and say, I'm sorry, they didn't accept the call. And then they would have no, but then they got smart. They say, well, we're going to let the person who's calling collect hear the response of the person who's being called. So you're kind of iffy on whether or not you want to say no, because when they do get a chance to talk to you, they can say, well, you know, I heard you uh, refuse my collect call the other day. So, so I'm going to do that to you, Pamela. I heard you refuse my collect call. Yeah, I refuse. And- yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow! <laughs> say, say, ain't nothing I can do. I'm oh, calling collect, so good. evidently I can't get to where you are. All right. Well, with that <laughs> being said, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I'm <laughs> boys and girls, uh, dudes and dudettes, the young lady that would not accept my collect call, please put your hands together and let's welcome Pamela Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness you know what oh well i told you we just gonna have some fun today why don't you do me a favor pam good morning to you first of all how you doing good morning i'm really really good amen. really good hey, amen you Thanks know what <laughs> you are you, you got me a clown in this early in the day <laughs> yeah well you know what i ain't got you clowning you doing that part on your own is it me? Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh, Lord. Clowning yeah. with the pastor. <laughs> it's good. Clowning with the pastor. Boy, I tell you. I'm, again, God forgive them for they know not what they do. All right, well, you know what, Pam? I'm so glad. I'm honored. I'm privileged. I am blessed uh, to have you here uh, on the GMAP Broadcast Network this morning. God bless you for taking a few minutes out of your time. Let's do this. Let's do this, Pam. Why don't we go ahead and just... Let me move out of the way for a minute and let you uh, introduce yourself. Uh, tell the people who you are. Tell them where you're from. And you know what? Let's dive into just a little bit of your background. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I sure can. I am a former school teacher who God decided to use in a bigger way. Well, I spent 13 years massaging greatness out of children. He simultaneously allowed or massaged some greatness out of me. And so all of, all of that became the ministry that became Pamela Johnson. And I'm just beyond grateful for all that he continues to do and, and expose that is in me. Wow. I'm from Newport News, Virginia, born, bred, and raised right there. Hmm. I um, am one of four, the second daughter, uh, or the second born in a family of four children. Mm-hmm. My parents are Lloyd and Pauline Johnson. And, um, oh, I don't know. I live here in Atlanta where I do all kinds of things. Wow. My most favorite thing is, um, of course, ministry, but I've been allowed to write, I'm, you know, I'm watching 
I'm sorry. Well, you know what? That, 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 that's um, obvious. I've decided not to even say nothing. I decided to just let you go ahead and get the kitchen clean. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I decided to cook breakfast. I had a few minutes and I'm Amen. hungry. Amen. So I'm like, let me go ahead and cook some breakfast. Wow. And so I'm sorry. I'm going to stop in a minute though because I'm finished. But um, um, I do a variety of things here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I write and direct award shows. I'm wow. active with my sorority, Delta Sigma Theta. Mm -hmm. I um, work with, with underprivileged people. I work with um, at-risk girls. I do a whole lot of things that um, I think make the Lord smile and say he's glad that he gave me some of those gifts. Amen. And such a heart for his people. Wow. Well, you know, I, I'm just honored once again um, to, to have you on board on today. I know that there's so much that we can talk about, um, but I, I, I just wanted to utilize this as really I guess you can say as an uh, an initial introduction uh, to the people because we are or we do f officially uh, have you listed now as one of our featured artists on the GMAP broadcast. I saw that. Yay! I saw that. Thank you so much. You know, <laughs> you are a nice. part of that Gospel Artist Spotlight roster. Praise God. People will be hearing your music in heavy rotation. We're going to have a another uh, live on air conversation that is really going to be much more intimate. Um, we are going to take time out. We're going to stop the music. We're going to talk about the cancer situation. We're going to talk about where you were, where you are and where God is taking you. We're going to do a whole lot of things, but today I just really, I guess you could say really wanted the people to hear your voice. Another Atlanta Georgia in I guess that's safe to say uh, we've been talking to a lot of people in the Georgia area. Matter of fact, I used to uh, live in Marietta, you know, um, and um, used to work at a, oh, okay. yeah, I used to live at a few places and I mean, I work at a few places <laughs> out there and okay. I don't know if I want to mention the names of them now that uh -oh. I'm not, now that I'm in pastoralship, I, <laughs> I, I, I gotta be careful at what I say. So uh, you, know, you have to remember, though, if you look at the lessons in the Bible, amen. God used uncommon people to yes. do extraordinary things. Yes. And it's the, the, the ordered steps that we as his, his um, generals have taken That's right. that have brought us to where we are. Ooh. And so whatever it was you used to do yeah. is just in preparation for what God has you doing today. Girl, you know, when I think about... Preach to the preacher. When I think about having <laughs> sung, I was I sang in jazz clubs throughout college in Richmond, Virginia. Uh -huh. And you know, when when singing in clubs, there's a whole lot of there's a whole lifestyle that goes along yeah. with that. Yeah. And I did it. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. men offered to buy me drinks, and I accepted every one of them. I know <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, you know I so know today, that's right. It's a whole wow. I'm a whole another different person. Yeah. yeah. And, and I don't let people hold that against me, and so. Well, you know, God, I've God, never you know been what? A, a hood kind of girl, but I know how to get that hood girl if I need her. God you know? allows us oh. to go through some stuff to get us where we're going, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and every last one of us uh, has had to go through some challenges, some trials. From it. Well, the Bible says it perfectly. It's snitched on you too. For those of you that's walking around acting like you're holier than thou, acting like you've always been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible snitched on you too. Oh, the Bible said we all <laughs> have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So if you're running around here acting like you haven't sinned, you're sinning now. Be oh my God, see you got me started. Hello, Lord. You know, the beautiful thing is God's glory is all over us. So this right. blood covers even our past. Yeah. You yeah. know, so whatever it was, whoever you were, whatever you did, even in your past, mm -hmm. just look at it as your matriculation yeah. from then to now, right. where, you know, you weren't a soldier before or the soldier, the army that you were in as the soldier that you were right. has changed. Yeah. You know, I used yeah. to say I, I did. I went to the clubs and party with my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. We would dance all night long mm -hmm. and I'm still dancing. I just changed partners. That's right. You know, that's right. <laughs> And see, while I'm you was in the club I dancing, like while you was in the club <laughs> dancing, I was the DJ. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Come on through, DJ. That is good stuff, boy. So, Pamela, let's talk about Destiny Resurrected, the new single you have out. Let's talk about 
because you got some good stuff out. I mean, I remember Father Breathe. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I re- remember that particular single, Father Breathe. And, you know, now you're doing a Christmas song. And, and I tell you, you just got so much going on. Let's talk about the uh, project titled Destiny Resurrected. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, when I did Destiny Resurrected, I had come off of a divorce. I had come off being super, super angry about having married a dud and all of the drama and hell I went through as a, as a wife to this man who meant me no good and did nothing but harm to me. I come off of, out of that, and, and I spent those years being angry and not really doing anything. I was still in church. I sang on the praise team at the Ray of Hope sang on the praise team at, and, and was even a praise and worship leader at World Changers. And I, so I still stayed in church, but I still, at the same time, was just furious. And it was like I put my destiny down. You know, I had been, I've been in church all my life, and prophets have said to me, the Lord has destined you to minister to oceans of souls. And they may go on and expound on what that meant. And I just kind of put my destiny down and became comfortable in ministering to the oceans of the souls that were in the churches of these high-powered pastors. Yeah. And God wouldn't let me be comfortable there. He continued to just disrupt my spirit about what he called me to do. Mm. And so when I did um, Destiny Resurrected, it was also after I had been diagnosed for the second time with breast cancer. And I was wow. like, okay, and my pastor, Dr. Dollar, said, you know, the enemy is trying to steal your destiny yeah. and kill your purpose and destroyed the the plan that God has for you. And so when I sat there in church that Sunday and heard him say that, I felt like he was looking at me, pointing at me, talking to me. And I just began to ask God, how do I do this thing? I knew that music was in me. Mm -hmm. I knew that I had this tremendous voice. I knew that I was anointed. I just didn't know what to do um, to get all of that out. Yeah. Wow. And so God just began to pour lit songs into me, words into me that became lyrics, that became songs, mm. that became destiny resurrected. And I called it that because it was like the, the destiny that I had put down had been resurrected by God himself. Because wow. I still was anointed to sing. I still was gifted. I still had a beautiful instrument. And I could still reach God's people regardless of where they were and who they were. Yeah. So that's how the name came about. And then as I've gone through this this hellacious season in my life. My mama died. I was married to a monster. I had cancer. That was a hellacious season that lasted many, many, many years. I wrote songs that were about victory that said, I still win. No matter what the enemy has thrown at me, I still win. I'm a champion and I know it. That's the first song on the, on the CD. That's a declaration. And I, you know, and at World Changers, Dr. Dollar taught us, I hadn't heard about declarations before, but he taught us that Declaration put declarations put everybody on hell on on notice. So hell is notified that I know who I am. I know what God says about me. I know the plan that God has for me. Hell is put on notice, saying I accept the deal. Woo! I'm in it to win it. Hell is you put know? on notice. I love that. You know I'm gonna steal that. Don't trademark it until I use it a few times. You can have it. You Ooh, can have it. She, have it. she gave me something. She ain't accept my collect call, but she gave me something. All Right, well, listen, I want you to <laughs> hold on for just a minute. I got something I want to do. Stay close. Don't move. We'll be back right here on the GMAP Broadcast Network in the morning show. Oh. Y'all ready to do this? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm a champion and I know it. I'm anointed by Jesus Christ. I got the victory, so I live it. So I live it, I'm a blessed name, so I'm a 
No, That's she it. didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't give it the woo on the end. Yeah, we were rocking so hard in the studio. Yeah, you sure was, because you know what? I was rocking here in the studio, too. I mean, that well, is you. my good. Oh, yeah, when you look at this video footage, you're going to be like, look at that fool. I know you. I know what you're going to say. He called collect, but he's still silly. I know. Yeah. Uh huh. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start calling folk collect. Ain't gonna, see, see, if they, see if they accept it. That's going to be their donation. Hey, if you want to, we gonna, we gonna, hey, we gonna try. I'm gonna try to talk for hours too. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, well, you know what? That is such an awesome hit. Um, I had to play that one because you said that was the first one. That is, man, I can't wait to 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 stop the music and and be able to talk to you more intimately, um, um, um on a more personable level. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just excited about that. I know we've all been through some stuff. Don't have a lot of time today, but I wanted to at least take a few minutes out and introduce you to our viewers and listeners on today. Once again, Pamela mm -hmm. Johnson, Destiny Resurrected. And of course, she is our guest here on the GMAP Morning Show. But we're going to be stopping the music. We're going to be talking more in deep soon. I'm talking about within the next few days because I want to promote it. For those that have went through some things when it involves things like cancer and stuff, um, I want to invite them to be a part of the conversation. I want to invite them to ask questions. I want to invite them uh, to share their story. So we're going to make a big deal out of this. We're not just going to do it for a few minutes, but we're going to stop the music and we're going to talk about this thing. And you're going to be uh, uh, the person that brings the message. You're going to bring the you're going to be the featured speaker and 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 we're just going to do this thing big so uh i want to do this pam thank you so much for joining us but before we let you go i want you to share with our viewers and listeners how they can um reach out to you if they choose to uh are you on social media email phone number website whatever the case may be share how they can find you if they're uh, if they're looking to reach out to you i am on social media my uh, music page on facebook is Sang Chow, S-A-N-G-C-H-I-L-E. My, my Instagram is Sang Chow 21, S-A-N-G-C-H-I-L-E. You know, in the black church, they say, ooh, Sang Chow. Yeah, yeah. We don't say Sang Child. We say Sang Chow. Ah, and so, so funny. that used to be me. And sometimes it still ooh, is. You are just so, <laughs> so funny, that's why boy. I'm Sang Chow on my social media. Okay. And it's also that on Twitter as well. Wow. She say Sang Chow. Yeah, we, ooh, we child. even my yeah. email address is ooh, sang child at gmail.com. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and you're so right. We just do not we just do not present it. Sing child. Nope, we don't say, ooh, sing child, sing. Yeah, you about yeah. to sing. They're gonna ask you if, <laughs> they're gonna say, Why are you talking like that? <laughs> well, well, I say that I'm an English teacher and yeah. even my um <laughs> ebonics are correct. Well, I know that's right. <laughs> They're done phonetically, and they're in the correct context. That is good stuff, boy. <laughs> I cannot wait to have a deeper and farther conversation with you. Um, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for a few minutes of your time on today, Pam. God bless you. I'm looking forward because I'm going to be contacting you probably within uh, the next hour or two, um, and we're going to go ahead and set this thing up so you can come in. Because I want to be able to put that little, you know, that little uh, band, that little uh, uh, ribbon on your um, – on your Destiny Resurrected uh, flyer. And I want to mm -hmm. promote the fact that you're going to be our guest, but we're also welcoming and inviting other guests to be a part of the conversation um, because Wonderful. I, I want to stop the music. It's going to be uh, a program where the music is stopped. We're not even interested in playing any more music on that particular day or that particular time frame, and we're going to break this thing down. So, I just want to say thank you so much on today for joining us. Thank you for sending me your information, becoming a part of our broadcast network family. And uh, thank you for just reaching out and being a blessing to God's people through this platform uh, this morning. Okay. Amen. It's my pleasure, Kevin. And I appreciate how you um, heard me talking on another show yeah. and said, I want to talk to you too. That's right. You know, that's gargantuan to me. Amen. And I, I appreciate it more than I could ever articulate. That program that I was able to see will be aired on the GMAP Broadcast Network as well soon and very soon. And I will keep you posted because it's something that needs to be shared. I look at that as public service. 
I don't look at that as any other way than sharing the information that God is requiring you to share. Mm-hmm. And the same goes for me. He didn't just put me in this position to just say, hey, I got a broadcast network or a media ministry. He put mm-hmm. me in this position to share particular information throughout the world to his people. That is right. that is one of those things and one of those pieces that need to be shared. So, you know, to God be the glory, Pam. And I appreciate you once again. Love your sister. You stay encouraged. Be motivated and continue to inspire others. We'll talk to you soon, okay? okay? Have a great day. I sure will. I, next time I call, I, I, I won't call you collect, okay? <laughs> you bet not. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize I'll be calling for nothing because I ain't getting through. <laughs> ah, all right, God bless you, Pam. We'll talk to you later. Yeah, all right, have a good one. You too. <laughs>
been so good, been so kind.